Hey Realm Walkers, I'm Saragus Orbus, and I hope you're having a good day today. But if you're having a crap day, or if someone's making your day crap, definitely come hang out, because here you won't have to deal with it. We're now in episode 17 of Stranded Among the Realms, which is an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. And today we're going to go out into the Desert or, uh, Provisional Realm, as well as the Swamp Provisional Realm. We're going to try and beeline our way to the uh, Essence Traders, buy what we need, and get geared up. Because that's, uh, that's, we need to do that. <laughs> we can hardly handle the things that are out here, so we need to gear up pretty hard. And that only means the next set of realms are just going to be that much harder. If, even with this gear. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Essence Trader should be out to the northeast in this direction. But before we do that, let's go take a look at this is. Oh, there's a knight. Ooh, we can't mess with that. So we keep on moving. Ooh, we're a little hungry. I'm a little curious what's going on over there, and I kind of want to take a look after we talk to Otis over here. Hey, Otis. Definitely want that. The intrepid shirt, hells yes. The cropped breeches, and this is the most important thing, the shotgun. Alright, that's everything. Um, thank you, Otis. Don't know who you're actually serving all the way out here in the middle of nowhere, but thank you. Thank you for doing so. Let's take a look at what's going on out here. Oh, that was the tree. I was like, what the hell groaned and growled and... Yep. Tree boy. That's so cool looking. See, it's not a bad place to set up in spots that are already here, like this. You know, like have a little base here. Especially since it's so flat in the desert, it's perfect. Anything else? Nope. One marigold seed. All right. Yeah, let's just keep on. All right, back to the respite. Drop off our uh, stuffs. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, let's take a quick nap. Do -do -do -do. All right, now we're off to the swamp. This place looks phenomenal. Also, there's probably things here that we just don't want to deal with. Okay, where are we at? North... Uh, so, north, northwest, this direction. Ah, uh, it's gonna land. Those might be uh, aggressive. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Nope, guess they don't care. Oh no. Power diseased. Do you want to read this? Oberon and Elizabeth, adapted for the stage by Mackenzie Reed. Remember the last one we read, they got married. Night. Elizabeth's chamber is dark. In the bed, she lies, frail and aged, mumbling fitfully. Elizabeth, weakly. Where is he? A physician and chambermaid step, step away from the bed. Physician. To wither this way in mere months, it is no sickness I have ever known. Chambermaid. Is there nothing to be done? Physician. He may ease her pain some. It will not be long. The, fish, the physician weighs over his sister, assistant, Oberon's page in a subtle disguise, who takes the physician's tools. He watches Elizabeth intently as he leaves. Exit physician and assistant. The chambermaid returns to Elizabeth's side, dabbing her head with a wet cloth. Elizabeth, my Oberon, please return to me. And the essence trader. Let's, uh, let's stealth, because the last thing we want to do is get killed. Swamp is scary. We get the rifle. We get everything. We get everything. Wait, didn't we buy the globe scones? Already? Huh. Refine alchemical boiler. Okay, so we gotta make one of those too. For potions, I believe. Alright, thanks, Glenn. You look just like your brother Otis. Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa. Okay, let's put down the alchemical boiler. Uh, where you at? I believe this needs two water bottles, yes. So we're gonna have to go buy some from this person next to Wilhelmina. But we don't quite need it right now, so that's okay. We're gonna need four lumber, three etched ingot, but. Let's deal with that later. For now, let's take a look at what we need. So let's go with the tools first. Let's go with this glider, and then we'll go up here into refined wood axe, sickle, pick, and knife. And we're gonna need, let's see, how much lumber?
So nine lumber. Seven ingots and two straps. But let's deal with this one at a time because we want to concentrate on the stats. So lumber and straps for the glider. Let's look at which wood we need. I probably want wood. This uh, desert wood. Probably gonna want desert wood for the umbrella. Oh, and straps too. Uh, let's see. Probably prey, since it's got. Prey skin? Prey pelt. It's the same, right? Yeah, let's get prey pelt. right next to me. These tools as well. Now for the wood axe and mining pick, well, for all of them we're going to want to use either lacunas or bronze. Here's bronze, melee damage, crit damage, durability. And lacunas, which we have a bunch of, is 20% melee damage, 20% fire resistance, 20% durability. We don't get to use that fire resistance at all here. So let's not even bother with that. Let's go with bronze. So we need nine of these. Now let's look again at the wood. The two handers are probably gonna use I'm probably gonna use um forest wood. Probably the one-hander is going to be something different. Let's take a look. And the reason why I say forest, or the two-handers are forest wood is because of strength and blocking efficiency. The other two... Stealth rating, that doesn't help. Crit damage, so also desert wood for the other two. Stamina and efficiency, yeah. So we're going to need six of these. Okay, tools.
Oh, look at that. Oh, nope. Not desert. Forest peas. Thank you. Actually, let's, let's see what the desert one does. Just crit damage. Yep. So we definitely want forest wood for this. Also, that's in the wrong spot. Now we need the hunting knife. Yay old sickle. So that's pretty good. And we've got our durabilities up. Uh, we could scrap all this stuff, but let's actually put it away. Uh, let's replace all our old stuff. Probably don't need this umbrella, so we can. Oops. Both of these umbrellas. Turn all this into dust. But we're not done yet. Oh, by the way, this looks great in the sun. Look at this. It's got that coppery sheen to it. I mean, it's supposed to be bronze, but it's coppery. More coppery than bronze. Which is nice. I like that. Very, very nice. Ooh, it's raining. Sunflower again. We could do coffee. Oops, that that's I don't want any of that. Four coffees, please. Moving back to the task. Um, okay, now we're going to need to do gear. Gear? Oh, gear. I'm going to have to do the same thing, basically. We're going to figure out what we need. Oh, I just realized something. We can make like, the... What is that called? Uh... this. We can make the Intrepid shirt. We need the simple map. Okay. Let's place that on there. We're also going to need the shotgun. Okay, and then for the shotgun, we're going to need the crude tea set, which we're going to place right over here. So, two carved stone, two twine, one lumber.
What is it mapping? Lumber, ink, paper, twine. Was it two paper or one paper? I don't remember. I think it was a little entwined. But... Shreet. Need to make a shotgun because <laughs> this thing we are going to need this thing very very badly uh, let's see what's our it was nice using your sling bow but it's time to retire you. we should probably keep this around though let's keep let's keep it in our inventory but let's not rely on it too much Okay, now let's look at... Okay, barrel, fastener, stock, action. <laughs> okay. So all of these is wood except for stock, which is... Or, sorry, all of these is iron. Okay, so all these are metal, except for stock, which is wood. Um, barrel, fasteners, action. Action takes two ingots. Barrel takes one shaft, which probably takes two ingots. Uh, what was the last one? Fasteners? Two ingots, so six ingots. Now let's take a look at stock, which takes one pole, which takes two lumber. So we need six ingots, two lumber. Oops. Okay, we're going to need some more desert wood here. So four desert wood. Six ingots. Now what ingots do we use? We can't use brass or bronze. Lacunas would be a waste. Uh, tin would... it's not doing anything for us. Ooh, copper is nice range damage. So I think we do that. Two bit of gardening. Wow, that's uh, smelting. So here's a little secret about coffee. You'll note here that you can make ground coffee out of the coffee cherries. 
and it takes one for one, essentially. However, if you first turn these into seeds, you'll notice that you can still use the seeds, which makes sense because, you know, you want the, the coffee cherry pits, which is the seed, to make your coffee, not the actual flesh of it. But what's interesting here is because it takes two to create uh, three, we end up having a lot more ground coffee than we would have if we only used cherries. So we have nine there after only having used six coffee cherries. The same thing is true here for spices. See how we have 10 creating five spices? But if we first turn the chamomile into seeds, you almost will end up with 30 seeds. But then those same seeds then can turn into a whole lot more spices. All right, our copper's done. Let's oh wait, we gotta make we gotta make some action with our copper. Gotta make a shaft. And then a barrel. And we need fasteners, yes. Whoop. Did we accidentally... Finally, some fasteners. Oop, going your stock. Alright, now let's make this shotgun. Smooth bore shotgun. Oh, look at this. Look at, look at how much damage that is. <laughs> That's way too good. Now let's get back to this. Got a little sidetracked by the shotgun because... Shotgun. Okay, after having looking it over, it's 2 cloth, 2 textiles, 11 felt, 13 thread, 2 lumber, 4 buttons, and 1 buckle. Let's take this, so let's take all this one at a time though, instead of lumping it all together because we want to make sure that our stats line up exactly with what we want. So the intrepid shirt, actually let's make, okay, the shirts and legs have health and stamina regen. So we want to concentrate our stuff on those two. So for example, if we look at our own shirt, like health regen, stamina regen, max health, stamina, max stamina. Same with the pants. We want to try and focus all of our attention, our, our focus everything we need to into maximizing those stats if we can on these two clo pieces of clothing.
Okay, first things first. First, uh, first things first. We're gonna need a bunch of felt. Uh, Eleven felt. I'm wondering if we should do prey pelts. Probably a mixture of prey pelts and predator pelts. Now, as far as threads go, here, huh? Let's take a quick snack. You know, let's uh, let's let's snooze. Took a long rest and went back into the trunk just to grab more stuff. Uh, I think we're going to need to want to. We're going to want swamp fibers for pretty much as much as we can. Everything else is going to have to be forest fibers. Uh, let's see. Wait, let me see how much cloth takes. Oh, we can't make cloth. Because we don't have a refined spinning wheel. Oh yeah, we do. We can make one. What the hell? I guess I missed that. We need three carved wood, four shaft, three twine. We're going to need some lumber. Do I have any carved woods? We do. Let's may as we may as well use these. Okay, this one needs three etched net goods, four lumber. Do we have etched net goods? We do not. This needs metal, because shafts are metal, aren't they? Yep, okay. It needs how many? Four. Wow. What do we make that out of? A uh, shimmering ore, maybe? It's gonna take a long time to do. I guess while we're waiting for that, we can go grab some water bottles. Oh, it's adventure time. Um, west, northwest. 
Okay, here we go. Let's go. And here we are. Hello, Miss Sass. Sassy. Wilhelmina. Oops, I didn't mean to punch you, Silas. Hope that doesn't affect our relationship. <laughs> what you got? I uh, need one of these. I believe buying one gives you four. Yep. Alright, we are back home. Let's get everything back in order. Oh, let's fix you up. Yay! We can put this one away now. Okay, we need four shafts for this fella. And we, dang it. Of course we ran out of fuel. Ah. Awesome. Almost there. Went out and grabbed some uh, lumber. Oh, actually, yeah. Yes, need some of that lumber back. Just gonna have a little fuel. Oh, it's actually about even, so let's put both in here. We need how many? Four shafts. Okay, now let's look. How much... What makes cloth? Two thread. We need two cloth, so that's two thread. So 15 thread total. Let's make... Let's see. Let's see what thread we can make with. Rain resistance. I think we're gonna, that's going to be important. So... Okay, let's put this away. Sorry, just stacking them up again. Let's just grab a random amount of fiber. And let's actually grab a random amount of different fibers. So we can make all different kinds of threads and con con contrast and compare and see what we need the most. Buttons and buckles. Um, what's going to be the best for that, though? Bronze? I think durability is the only one that matters for the buttons and buckles. So let's grab a bunch of these. Hmm. 
Ooh, two metal plates for buckles, huh? Oh, wow. That's expensive. Done, all right. Two textiles. I think textiles is it a thing? I don't think I think it just means more felt. Either felt or cloth. Oh yeah, let's make some threads. We're also gonna need two lumber for our uh, pack. Uh, what should we use? So funny enough, the pack has blocking efficiency, so we'll use some forest wood. Which one uses the textiles? The pack. with these except let's use forest yeah let's use forest fiber I should actually make four yeah hopefully they count as textiles actually let's make two then we'll just test the theory all right let's see if textiles count as cloth. They do. Or cloth counts as textiles. So that means we let's make four of these. This means we're gonna need more um Forest plant fibers. Let's grab 20 more so we can make more thread. Oh no. Oh, I made the wrong one.
Okay. More of this, please. Almost there. You done yet? Hooray! It's time to make some gear. Let's start with the Intrepid Shirt and Breaches. Uh, let's autofill for a second. And what we want to do here is... Okay, so I'm rethinking my original thought of using Swamp Fiber here, which has both stamina and health, and instead try to focus on stamina since the rest of the gear is focused on health by doing this we can kind of like squeak out what little bit we can does this look good okay We probably want Prey Pelt here, so we can, again, like, push out the stamina. Okay. Let's go with the pack next. Uh, instead of Predator, let's do Forest. Or does anything give us more? Nope. Nope. This is the best. Because we get weight and health. Uh, let's use forest fiber. Which at least gives us health and weight. Or just health. Maybe both? I think both. Uh, yes. Forest wood. Craft speed. So we just need gloves, coat, shoes. We want, yes, we definitely want predator pelts for these. So predator and forest fiber. Perfect. Same with the trapper shoes. Just upping max health as much as we can. The coat, however, has a lot of different stuff going on for it. Let's do Predator. Again, more health. Now, this one, we should go... more rain resistance or heat resistance? Hmm... Let's look at Swamp Threads again real quick. Max Health, Max Stamina, Poison Resistance. Ooh, we got Cotton. Let's put that Cotton in there. And let's take a look.
So desert just gives us heat resistance. Forest gives us health and rain resistance, which is great. I think this is going to be my first choice. Swamp is also health, poison resistance, but it's not as much health. And poison resistance only helps against things like insects and like those floor traps. Jute is rain resistance and durability. Cotton is heat resistance and durability. Both are really good, actually. But I think we go with forest fiber. Let's go for it. Alright. Let's swap things over. Let's just equip that way, shall we? We still got our, our weathered hat, which is woefully pitiful. But we're looking good. We got 327 health, I mean with buffs. Now it's time for some upgrades. Sure got enough. Look at this, 913. Holy sh... That's nice. That's real nice. Seeing all that just... warms me heart. Okay, here we are. Nice and upgraded. Our health is nice and chunky, juicy. We still haven't we still haven't passed ooh, 69. Nice. We still haven't passed a hundred, and that's gonna be a problem. And actually our Okay, so when we go to fight the the herbarium side of power, the one that's out here. Let's go take a look at it. This one, we're gonna, we have to rely on the shotgun and the pickaxe, or the mining pick, to do all of our damage for. This is the only way we can beat that. Because there's, up there is one fabled automaton knight and three rooks, and we have to run up and down. You'll see, you'll see what happens, but, um, that's that's gonna be for another day. We're not gonna deal with that today, that's for sure. Okay, we're also gonna need to do some enchanting. I know we had just done that for our, our last batch of equipment, but we need to do that again. I know, it's kind of a waste, but we gotta do it. Now we gotta make a bunch of these again. And we gotta make a bunch of infusions. Ah, yeah. Everything. But we're gonna do that another time. I think I'll do that off camera so you don't have to deal with that. Because we just saw that in the last episode or two episodes ago or whatever. We don't want to see that again. So, I figured it'd give us a bit of a closer look at the herbarium side of power. Which is going to be, like I said, pretty tough. We're going to have to do a bit of kiting, and we may die a bunch. But I think we'll be okay. You know, our gear is pretty good. Uh, we're going to upgrade it with some enchantments and stuff like that off camera, so we don't have to see that again. 
And, um, yeah. It's been good. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll uh, we'll catch you all later, alright? Peace.